This is what too much snow looks like. Here it doesn't seem like it's going to stop. At least that's what neighbors in North Bend say. I mean, the snow's been coming down pretty good. It's weighing on roofs and burying roads. This particular truck is stuck uh, since morning, early morning to now. The driver tried chaining up and shoveling out with little luck. Then around this corner, another problem. It's closed right now because the gas leaked down at the entrance. Here, a power line came down and collided with a four inch gas pipe. Then the lights went out at Mount Sai Motel. With the power out, it really starts to make things challenging because people start to get a little cold. Co-owner Jason Lee does have two generators. Just to keep our water and some of the emergency lights running. From digging out to stuck inside. This is where we shoveled our walkway to this morning. Up this road is where Valerie Fogel and Deanne Dodson live. They shared these photos and say they haven't been able to get out of their driveway since Sunday. That is how deep the snow is. We're not getting much love from uh, any of the plow guys or anything right now because they're obviously working on the, the more important places. The city's first focus is plowing main roads. That's why this community is getting creative. For Cameron Heimbigner, that means a snowmobile. It's a lot better than going around in a car and getting stuck somewhere. And at this motel, their plan is to keep at it. Oh, we're just going to keep trying to stay in front of it. Yeah, hopefully, and this hopefully will melt or at least not snow anymore. In North Bend, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. So again, North Bend has its snowplow crews working around the clock right now. According to the city, the plan is to hopefully obtain additional plows, drivers, and some sand to help try to clear all of the roads.